Let's watch an informational video from Sunny V2. Sunny V2, he don't miss. He just don't miss. I've been liking Sunny. Well, I, you all know I've been I've been fucking with Sunny V2, but these videos he's been making recently, they ain't miss. I ain't gonna hold you. Who has the worst reputation in YouTube history? Um, who has the worst reputation in YouTube history? Somebody that niggas just really don't like Keemstar. Motherfuckers don't like Keemstar. Motherfuckers hate Keemstar, bro. They he, like he, he hate Keemstar. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Oh, EDP. Oh my yo, EDP literally got like EDP can't even get a job in real life. Rice gum, no. Nah, rice gum didn't get like EDP. I gotta understand EDP can't work, bro. Like that, the, 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 Nikado, because of Alex. Dream, Dream didn't get like EDP. Like EDP is like a different level of of shun from the community, bro. We can't come back nowhere. He be on TikTok sometimes though, but he be getting banned and unbanned, so we don't know. But all right, let's see what he's talking about. These creators have the ten worst reputations in YouTube. We know who that is. We know who this is. We know who this is. Or off rip. We know who this is. Off rip. We know who this is. Off rip. We know who this is. We know this is definitely uh, Brian Moreland. I ain't gonna hold you. We know who this is. History and coming in at number ten is YouTube prankster Vitaly ZDTV. Mm, we know about Once Vitaly. One of the platform's most respected we know about creators, Vitaly. Vitaly's reputation began to decline after confessing in a rant video that some of his most popular pranks had been faked. Out of 165 videos, I maybe faked five videos. However, despite Vitaly stating that he'd only faked five videos, a different YouTube prankster FuzzyTube would respond to the video by stating that. Vitaly had staged more than that, resulting in another response from Vitaly in which he'd once again admit that his videos were in fact fake. Everybody knows that we fake pranks back in the day. All them fake prank videos, I was really, I know I told you this before, but I was really hurt when they came out and said, oh, them prank videos are fake. Cause I used to really think them pranks in the hood, gone wrong, gone sexual, 20, 2013, um, social experiment in the hood. Like I thought that shit was real, like for the longest time, but I was hurt when I found out that shit was fake. Yes, I faked some of my videos. Adding to the Vitaly's reputation decline was both the launch of Vitaly Uncensored, as well as the time he get in hot water for climbing one of Egypt's Great Pyramids, although the event which would notoriously ruin his reputation beyond repair was the time he was arrested in Miami. On the 12th of April 2020, Vitaly attacked a random woman who was simply jogging past the front of Vitaly's house, and when the police body cam footage of the arrest was released, it was obvious Even that Vitaly was incredibly intoxicated. After spending the night in jail, Vitaly was sued by the woman for an undisclosed amount Amount. And while Vitaly seems to have made somewhat yeah. of a red jail, Vitaly was holy shit. I forgot. I think Vitaly's Russian or something. But holy shit, my nigga, I'm not even going to attempt that. I ain't gonna lie. Sued by the woman for an undisclosed amount. Rise easily fooled your ass. Definitely fell for the thumb magic trick. Mari, nigga, you was like, you was like six when pranks in the hood was out. Everybody believed that shit. Literally everybody. Literally everybody. When er everybody. And while bro. Vitaly seems to have made somewhat of a redemption, judging from recent podcast appearances, the same can't be said for the YouTube with the ninth worst reputation, NNA Productions. The, the reputation of NNA Productions began to decline when Penguin Zero would state that NNA was the worst YouTuber on the entire website, with the initial criticism being that NNA. Oh, this the uh, this the three AM motherfucker, bro. This is the the three three AM motherfucker, bro, from India. And they simply made awful generic fake I've been seen this challenges thing in years. that were targeted toward children. This channel's name is NNA Productions, and it's so generic it makes Nickelback look like rock and roll pioneers. He makes the exact same video every single time, except the very end where he changes the scare. Okay, now y'all can call me whatever for watching pranks in the hood videos. But never in my life will, will I watch or have watched a 3 a.m. video. No, not even once. Not even once have I watched a 3 a.m. video ever. And where he changes the scare. Penguin Zero would then go on to explain that NNA Productions takes my gift advantage of his naive audience by hosting a fake giveaway in the beginning of every video. You're not allowed to host fake giveaways. It's an actual felony. Nigga, Charlie really grew his hair. I forgot Charlie used to have the, 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 the shit to do that so what he's doing is breaking the law because there's no winners for these giveaways so he's breaking a law and he is also breaking a youtube rule but for some reason he's done this in every single video and he has still not had his channel taken down yet which is bundled with the promotion of his social media and repeated identically in every single episode the first three minutes of every single one of his videos is basically just an advertisement for all of his social media and scams following penguin zero talking for the next uh for the rest of the streams for the rest of the blue rye uh franchise I'm just gonna be like, for the first hour of the stream, I'm gonna talk about, yo, follow me on Twitch, or YouTube, or Reddit, or MySpace. I would just keep repeating it 10 more times until, until we get to the hour, then we'll start the stream. <laughs> yo, yo. Like and subscribe. Productions, Diesel Patches, Pancho, and DJ Cook would each upload their own viral videos, also talking about how terrible he was. Calling 
Cars 3. Cars 3 is a movie. How can you call a movie? With one of the other criticisms being that he made a 3M video on Etika right after whoa, he passed away. Whoa, he actually whoa, went ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's my dog. Hold on. And did an Etika 3M. Oh, yeah, he's a bitch. Oh, yeah, he's a bitch. RIP Etika in the chat. R.I.P. Etika in the chat. Yeah, he's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Pyro Cynical ain't safe either. T.O. Tim, you not fucking with Pyro? Rip. Etika. Man. I ain't gonna hold you. I really miss I really miss that nigga Etika. I ain't gonna hold you. I say this all the time, but that that's that's really that's really one of the inspirations for this stream and shit. But like, nah, this is some bitch ass shit, nigga. I hate. It was him and this uh, uh, J-Station. Y'all remember him? J-Station probably won't be on here too, but motherfuckers do anything for a little bit of clout, bro. It's crazy. Challenge. Rest in peace, Edika, all right, guys? And one like equals one prayer for Edika. One like. And by the way, if you're still doing like goals in this 2022, nigga, you was a bitch. I'm not going to you. If you're doing like one like equal one like. Like fist bump to your chin or something like that shit is whack as fuck. I'm not gonna count. With such, the entire internet, including his own comment bots, joined in on the N and A Productions hate train. However, around two years after Penguin Zero uploaded his initial video calling him the worst YouTuber on the platform, Charlie changed his mind by calling him the most impressive YouTuber for his consistency in being able to pump out so much terrible content for such a long period of time. It is wrapped around from being the worst YouTuber to the strongest, most persistent YouTuber I've ever seen in my life. And speaking of terrible content for a long period of time, this seems like an appropriate point to talk about number eight, Wings of Redemption. After becoming I've one of YouTube's him. most notorious Call of Duty players back in the early 2010s, Wings of Redemption's reputation began to decline after he'd lose a 1v1 match against another large Call of Duty YouTuber named Syndicate. In the lead up to the 1v1, Wings had been going- Damn, this is an interesting build right here, I'm not gonna hold you. This is a, this is a very interesting build that we have here. Um, okay. Let's see, let's see where he said. I'm pretty sure I, I, I know of him, but like, I think Sonny made a video on him before. Going on about how bad Syndicate was and how there was no way Wings could possibly lose the match. <laughs> yet when build? the showdown eventually happened, Syndicate beat Wings 14 kills to 9 in front of an audience of 7,000 <laughs> and Wings of Redemption completely lost it. I broke my controller. You broke your controller? <laughs> <laughs> this match would act as a catalyst for Wings to gain approximately 100 pounds, alienate Damn. his only few friends, and eventually cultivate an army of trolls who would do nothing but berate him in every single live stream. The constant harassment by his audience Pin no, what happened to the nigga syndicate, bro? Can I search that up? What happened to that's a good question, nigga. A lot of them Call of Duty uh people and, and anybody who used to really do that shit, nigga, do not exist anymore. Syndicate. Oh, syndicate is is this him? This is him. Oh my nigga syndicate making Minecraft videos. He posts his, his, I'm not gonna lie, his consistency is fucking dog shit, though. This nigga has some of the worst consistency ever, I'm not gonna, well, actually, he seemed like he was posting, and then he kind of just, like, slowed down. Hey, it's tough, it's tough, but hey, I mean, his, his viewership is still decent, but he has 9 million subscribers, so, like, Fresco was good, gang, was good. Yeah, see they upload that schedule. After being stream sniped for an entire live stream, Wings will once again lose it in front of his audience. Can't do it. Yo, That's punching a hole in your wall is crazy. Yo, no way. Get take this shit no more, man. As these reactions became increasingly common during his streams, entire YouTube channels became dedicated to posting Wings of Redemption's uh, worst moments, which not only brought more trolls to each stream, but these videos made it next to impossible for Wings to get a job or do anything outside of streaming to an audience who were essentially just watching so they could laugh at him. However, there were still less people laughing at Wings. Damn, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's why you have, a lot of the time you ha you can't feed into the trolling, bro. Like you can respond, but you can't like show that the trolling chat. Imagine if somebody called me a bitch and then I just punch a hole in my wall because somebody called me a bitch. Then everybody's gonna be calling me a bitch because they know that it's gonna it, it really gets under my skin. And now everybody gonna be saying it so it can get under my skin so I can have multiple like. It's, it, I don't know why the nigga just let it get to him that bad, but hey, I mean, not everybody built for this shit. In comparison to the creator with the seventh worst reputation, Nikocado Avocado. I've never watched one of this nigga's videos, bro. I always see like a TikTok clip or something like that of him eating. The nigga just eat. Why do y'all who? Why do y'all actually watch this nigga? No hate to the nigga, but I just don't understand. Like, why do y'all actually watch this nigga, bro? After gaining a following as one of the platform's oh first. Oh my god! I forgot this nigga used to be skinny. Holy shit! 
I'm praying for this mega male vegan mukbang YouTubers, Nikocado Avocado's level of discipline oh began to slip. God. Rather than eating healthy vegan food for the camera, he began to consume more and more fast food, likely due to its speedy delivery, cheap cost, and overwhelming relatability to the audience. However, eating fast food every Yo, single like, day- Yo, like, how is this- how is this nigga eating all of this? I can't even attempt to- I'm not gonna lie, maybe my, 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 like, ability to eat isn't as high as some of y'all, but child, I'm not gonna lie, I, I maybe could finish the whole pizza that, that's left right here. Maybe. And that's it, nigga. And I, I'm not eating this pizza all at once. The rest of the shit here, my nigga, I don't know if I'm finishing this shit, my nigga. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, y'all got it, bro. Like, this nigga just different. You have a very low ability to eat, pal. Well, Tim, are you finishing this whole meal, nigga? Are you, are you finishing this whole meal, nigga? Because I don't know any regular, just like regular, regular human being that's finishing. Oh, you will by yourself, Tim? You won't need Owen for Total Drama. I'm to assist your ass. This nigga's eating candy yams, I think, or it's pasta. It might be, might, might be chicken pasta or something in order to produce a video came alongside a massive increase in body crazy, weight. Though. As time progressed, Nick Ocado only got larger and larger to the point where people weren't even watching for the mukbang, but rather to see Nick Ocado Avocado eat himself to death. Accompanying his weight gain was the decline of his relationship and sex life. However, the thing that put the biggest dent in his reputation was that he used all of these negative elements as a way to gain views. Celebrating our 700 pound And niggas watch this, bro. Like, I, I'm not gonna hold you. I never feel bad as a kid for watching, like, hood pranks. Because y'all niggas watch 3AM videos, uh, the, the little kids' uh, channels, the Ryan Toy Reviews channel, the the ASMR mukbang videos. Like, there are a lot. Before you even get the pranks in the hood, there's a lot of content that's below that. I'm not gonna hold you. Milestone, McDonald's mukbang, my new diet as a disabled person, how much weight I've gained, fast food mukbang, oh with each of these videos having negative Yo, comments. I'm so, I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. My I don't know why I ever apologize that I'm, I'm tall. As like, a disabled person, up, how much weight I've gained. Is this an edit? Is this, this, okay, no, this is edited. That's edited like shit. There, that he would, like, I don't think humans can actually do that. That's edited. Fast food mukbang, with each of these videos having negative comment after negative comment about Nikocado monetizing the collapse of his life. However, while Nikocado's food related content has generated a pretty equal mix of both fans and haters, the same can't be said for the person with the sixth worst reputation, that vegan teacher. Yo, vegan teacher, eat a Frank, nigga. You see what I, you see what I said? Cause she, she don't, she don't follow me. Ah. In the beginning, the vegan teacher's content was mild, fun, and entertaining. However, after she'd blow up from a back and forth between her and Gordon Ramsay, her strategy switched to calling out any and every influencer with Low a goal corny, of receiving a response. If you're not vegan, I'm coming after you. She'd call out the vegan teacher. I feel like I don't like the vegan teacher anyway, because it's one thing to be vegan, but don't be trying to force that shit on everybody else, nigga. And, like, she's just annoying. Vegan teacher reminds me of a fucking, like, I don't know if she used to teach her anything, but she reminds me of my, my ninth grade uh, science teacher, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, she reminds me of my ninth grade science teacher, and I hate that, bro, because I did not like my ninth grade science teacher. I ain't gonna hold you. Call out Coco Melon for using cheese in one of their music videos. Guys, you cannot be promoting cheese to children. Cheese is like a poison, and it comes from a cycle of violence. You forgot to say, say vegan that. cheese. Mr. Beast for not using vegan lollies in his <laughs> chocolate factory <laughs> video. I wonder if all of those candies are vegan. I hope so, because gelatin comes from violence. And dumb bitch. Man for not using vegan hot dogs in his YouTube sketch. No, he didn't say vegan hot dog. That's not good. As a result of these outrageous claims against some of YouTube's most beloved creators, the vegan teacher became one of the main punching bags for the commentary community. Her shirt? What's on her shirt? Oh, no, he. Be fair. Be. These are some crazy. Yo, these are some crazy shirts. Yo, these are some insane, like. These are some insane shirts. I'm not gonna hold you. Like you can't be doing that. Hot dog. That's not good. As a result of these outrageous claims against some of YouTube's most beloved creators, the vegan teacher became one of the main punching bags for the commentary community, She's and subsequently it became class? a trend for the wider YouTube audience to hate on her. The fact that people are actually supporting this lady and subscribe to this lady is tragic. This is another level of insanity. It's so hard to think that this whole channel isn't satire. The fact that she is still on social media till this day for absolutely no reason, just to harass people for not being vegan, makes me. 
me mad. The vegan teacher's poor reputation is best oh summarized by brutal dislike ratios on almost every single video posted to her channel. Yet in comparison to the creator with the fifth worst reputation, the vegan teacher still looks like a saint. In fact, the next person has a reputation so terrible that it's not even possible to find a single positive comment on any of their videos, free no matter how deeply you look. The most toxic YouTuber I've ever stumbled oh, across. Easy. I cannot believe that this is a real thing. And it's a YouTuber going by the name of Lisa Gaming Roblox. Who the fuck is this? Lisa Gaming Roblox. Damn, Roblox community get hate. I've never heard of this person. I can't even try to guess who this is. I've never heard of this person in my life. Thing. And it's a YouTuber going by the name of Lisa Gaming Roblox. She first blew up by posting a video of her deleting other Roblox players' Lisa houses, houses but with 4 bird. million views on an incredibly toxic burst video came an indescribable- She just griefing in Roblox, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with it. Just a little griefing. Yeah, a little griefing never hurt nobody level of backlash. This is literally unforgivable considering how much time the people spent making the house and then there is a person who just destroys it all. However, the impressive performance of the video revealed one thing to Lisa. Toxicity equals attention. The very next video posted to the channel was therefore another toxic video in which Lisa would make up fake allegations about another large Roblox YouTuber and subsequently the entire channel devolved into a cesspool of unsavory content. Every single comment on every single video follows a similar structure along the lines of this is how many people want Lisa to be banned from Bloxburg. People who dislike- How is she not banned? How is she not banned on Roblox? Roblox be banning you off saying anything. So how how she still got a Roblox account? Niggas spend real money on Roblox and she be fucking deleted. Oh, you have- Yo, okay, that's fucked up. You have to spend real money to make a house in Bloxburg? What kind of shit is that? Are you dead ass? You have to spend real money to do that? No? Yes? No? Yes? Yes, no, okay, I, I don't know, but if that, if that is the case, or you might have to go buy cosmetics and shit, she be taking that, that's kind of crazy, I'm not hold you. Like her vids, everyone who's happy to see Lisa No, just makes it faster, oh, okay. Instead of trying to repair her reputation, Lisa simply plays into it by creating countless videos reading these hate comments, which only leads to more hate. However, she's still not nearly as hated Damn. as the creator with the fourth worst reputation, Dark Side Phil, who's so yeah. hated- my brother used to watch the fuck out Dark Side Phil. I've never watched a Dark Side Phil Let's Play. A lot of y'all don't even know what he is, who he is. It's, I'm not gonna lie. Looking back, this nigga has the personalities of a fucking paper towel, my nigga. Dark Side of Phil used to make Let's Plays. That's all you need to know. Niggas don't make Let's Plays no more, bro. He used to do Let's Plays every game. Like, y'all gonna see, but like, the nigga is now on time that his vlog channel is literally titled The King of Hate. Darkside Phil began as a professional player on the game Street Fighter back in the mid 2000s, where he became hated by the community for his disrespectful attitude toward other players. You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. This was followed by Phil joining YouTube in 2007, on which he'd become one of the first people to upload Let's Play style videos. However, uploading full game playthroughs came with its own set of problems. With so many hours of footage posted Sandy? to Phil's channel, a user by the name of Evil Age. AJ 2010 compiled all of Phil's worst moments on the game Metal Gear Solid before uploading them as a video titled This Is How You Don't Play MGS2. Phil wasn't too happy with this so he'd respond to the video but this only prompted more compilations by other creators each of which yeah. prefixed with the title This yeah, Niggas must really hate you. They make a hate video saying putting your worst moments in each game? Damn nigga you suck. Nigga he has a one hour and 56 somebody made a one hour and 56 minute of him, his worst moments, his worst gameplay moments in Spider-Man for PS1, nigga. It's, it's Spider-Man for PS1. Y'all realize Spider-Man for PS1 is like fucking three hours, my nigga. It does. The PS1 does not have space to, to really have like 24-hour games or, or games above 15 hours. This nigga, Spider-Man 1 at most was like 10 hours, my nigga. Like, nah, that nigga sucks. I'm not gonna lose you. That's tough is how you don't play. These videos not only led to the initial decline in Phil's reputation, but that also lead to a collapse in his viewership at a time when Phil was becoming desperate for money so he could pay his bills. In 2020, it will be discovered that Phil was over $500,000 in debt, causing him to- This nigga went bankrupt? Yo, I, I don't know what y'all, maybe I, I, I don't know, but I don't know what y'all niggas be doing with your money, bro, but like, I, I don't know, nigga, like, damn. File for bankruptcy, yet when the bankruptcy documents were leaked, it became apparent that Phil had not been spending the donation money on bills, and instead had maxed out 13 credit cards and spent over $40,000 on a mobile game called WW. Yo, did, no, he's actually a fucking idiot. I was about to give him the benefit of the doubt. No, I wasn't. He's a fucking, like, he's a he's an actual, like, idiot. I'm not gonna hold you. He maxed out all of his credit cards, which is, I'm not gonna hold you, chat. 
that's actually quite literally like most of the time never a good idea, bro. This nigga maxed out every single one of his credit, like all of his credit. That's never a good idea, actually. Like that's a terrible idea, my nigga. To max out all of your credit cards. And he spent 40k on a mobile game. Nigga was what was, was he playing Genshin Impact? What was he what the fuck? Imagine you donating to me, chat, and the whole time I'm spending 50k on Raid Shadow Legends. Um, somebody gave 50 gifted's last stream, which I appreciate. Chat, imagine y'all find out a couple days later that all I've been spending it on is fucking Raid Shadow Legends packs. Like, oh my fucking god, I'll be mad if I donated to a nigga just for them to fucking spend that shit on, on Raid Shadow Legends. Or, or like, whatever games he... Like, that's an, that's an insane concept to me. Like, he, that's crazy. 13 credit cards and spent over $40,000 on a mobile game called WWE Legends. That's why I say don't play mobile games. showing that Phil had been spending more money on the game than he had been on his mortgage. Just to put a cherry on top of the cake, Phil was all... Like, really look at this nigga, bro. Like... Just take a the, the just take a time to really analyze who we dealing with here. More money on the game than he had been on his mortgage. Just to put a cherry on top of the cake, Phil was also caught beating off on stream whilst not realizing that. He oh 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 okay. All right. He was live, and while the camera was only focused on his face, his reaction is still hilarious. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. However, if we're on the topic of being caught in 4K, then this might be the perfect time to. Okay, this is this is Brian, Brian Moreland right here. Talk about the creator with the third worst reputation, EDP. Who has a worse reputation than EDP? I go hold you. I uh, will see. Five. He was once a creator held in high regard for his honesty and unfiltered attitude whilst on camera. However, all of this changed on. Jesus Christ, we already know how like massive this nigga is, but god damn, nigga, like this is crazy, bro. On the 18th of April 2021, when he tried to meet up with a minor after chatting with her online, turns out the account was a decoy created by two other YouTubers who captured the whole interaction on camera. And, and after other creators like Penguin Zero publicized the footage to an audience of over 13 million, EDP's public image collapsed overnight. He'd lose 200,000 subscribers in a week. Then seven days later, YouTube would delete his channel altogether. His cameo, Facebook, and Instagram were all also deleted, leading him to migrate to other niche video sharing websites such as 3Speak, on which he'd also Three eventually speak. get banned. EDP attempted to get a job driving for Lyft, mm. Uber Eats, and Grubhub. However, that. he'd also be fired from all three of these positions, after which he would apply to have his name changed as a desperate attempt to escape. Bro, this nigga cannot do anything, chat. He can't even be an Uber driver, chat. He, this nigga should be behind bars. He can't even be an Uber driver. He still got the Tiki Talk. Bro, EDP definitely still on TikTok, bro. I saw a TikTok video of his like a week ago, bro. Like, crazy escape from the controversy the, the tiktok be on my dick though but you won't ban edp that makes a lot of sense i'm not gonna lie to you see he then moved to a completely different city where he began to live out of various hotels however he was continually evicted as a result of people calling each hotel to let them know what edp had done and while edp is essentially now living in exile from both the internet and the real world he's not the only person on this list in such a position maximilian Moose, the youtuber with the what the fuck is this i've I, I seen this profile picture before what profile picture is this it look i've seen this profile picture before it is, i don't know what second worst reputation also fits into this category of exiled youtubers you probably remember him as the guy who made the oh yeah yeah fortnite song before getting everyone in his audience oh. to find his profile picture and comment oh yeah ah, ah, ah okay okay i remember i remember this fortnite video it was probably one of the worst things i've ever seen in my life yeah, yeah, on other creators' videos. Well, this wasn't the only thing that Max was getting his audience to do. Everyone, go to this live stream, type we strayed, we gang, and say homophobic stuff and spam and be racist and sexist. What the fuck? This is a, a literal hate raid in GTA. This is literal. Like, what the hell? And mean and also Max Gang. The reason why he had them saying Weast Gang is because that's a YouTuber that he didn't like, so he wanted to make it sound like all of the homophobic and racist shit was coming from that guy's community, hoping he'd wow. get banned for it. He did this for other streamers as well. The Maximilian Muss rabbit hole is so deep that it's almost impossible to cover in one or two minutes, so you'll have to refer to these three videos by Penguin Zero, Turkey Tom, and Internet Ajay. And while Maximilian Muss's channel was eventually terminated as a result, his, actions, his low profile doesn't quite earn him the worst reputation on YouTube. That title goes to Sky Does Minecraft, who was once the second most subscribed gaming. Now I ain't gonna lie, Sky Does Minecraft literally lost everything, bro. Like literally, quite literally. I ain't gonna hold you, but he could still be in real life, my nigga. Like EDP, he can't do shit in real life, my nigga. So 
Let's hear about Sky. I remember watching a video on Sky. About YouTuber later. behind PewDiePie. His empire and reputation began to decline when he announced that he and his partner Elisa had broken up, leading Sky to have a full-blown mental breakdown on Keemstar's show Drama Alert. But this is my son. This is my legacy. This is my family. I don't know what her problem is. I don't know why she hates me so much. I did so much for her. I paid her through beauty school. I just wanted her to succeed in life, even when she was at her lowest. I'm upset at her for continuing to ruin my life when I haven't done anything to her. I just want my son! At around the same point in time, both the popular- At that point in time, I feel bad for Sky, because that was a fucked up situation, bro. That was a fucked up situation. Keep starting need to be on this list, too. ...of Minecraft, as well as Sky's desire to create content were declining, which not only led to a drop in his channel's viewership, but this also resulted in him becoming quite depressed. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've been going through a kind of a rough time recently. I've been not the happiest that I could be. As a result of his deteriorating mental health, Sky began to develop a drug problem, eventually resulting in the collapse of his next relationship, after which which the ex-partner would come out with over 6,000 words worth of- Holy shit, nigga, fuck no. Whoever read that, God speak to you, my nigga. You just a different breed, nigga. I'm, I, I chat, even just reading that first paragraph, nigga, I'm not, I'm, I could never even in my life just attempt to even write something like that, bro. Even if a teacher told me for a grade, if it was 90% of my grade, I have to write a 6K word essay, bro. I think the, the biggest essay I've written is a 3K essay, bro. Like a 3K word essay. And like, once I got past 2000, bro, I was really bullshitting, bro. Cause I didn't know what else to talk about. So I was just adding words in the first paragraph and just adding extra words and just going on about fucking nonsense, nigga. This is 6,000 words. That's crazy. I'm not gonna hold you like, I even wrote a 4K paper, paper like that. It's tough, nigga. Of the most brutal allegations in YouTube history. The document revealed that despite once being the 11th most subscribed channel on YouTube, Sky hadn't had more than $100,000 for years Damn. and would steal money from companies just to buy drugs and never do the work. Damn. The document continued by stating, you're extremely unfaithful. Alicia loved you and you would cheat, manipulate, and lie when she'd defend herself. Damn. You would constantly spread rumors of Post Malone saying awful things about his character, which is odd because last I checked he was checking in on you and extremely kind Damn, was trying to help post. you out even which was accompanied by countless other career ending accusations that ultimately led sky to disappear from the public eye altogether then four months later the sky does minecraft youtube damn you could damn nigga selling this joint for not god damn nigga you could buy that nigga just sold his shit channel was listed for sale on a third party website requesting a price of nine hundred thousand dollars providing him with the title of the worst reputation in youtube history Nigga, if somebody writes a 6,000 word essay on everything you've done wrong in your lifetime, you might as well wrap it up, nigga. You might, like, I don't care what's in it, whether they tell the truth or not, like, you might as well wrap it up, my, my nigga. Like, there's 6,000 words in that essay, my nigga. Like, they're, they're, they get your ass, my nigga, for sure. I ain't gonna catch you. Donate to Rice so you can buy Sky's channel, nigga. I'm, I would never... <laughs> I would never in my life. It's low beating a 6K word essay. I'm going to do that to you starting from... <laughs> what the fuck? Th that nigga who wrote that to a time his ass. I would never in my life even attempt to do... Even if I was... It was a great chat. I would never in my life try to write a 6K page essay. That's, I mean, 6K word essay. Um, That was a good video though. Damn. That's tough. Niggas out here really getting like shunt. Like motherfuckers can't come back type shit. A couple of them motherfuckers definitely, like, like, uh, well, probably all the motherfuckers is just really on some shit where, like, they should never, ever come back in their lifetime. Um, IBG, appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all.